probably a mukbang. I'm gonna tell you right now. Mom, dad, as of recording this video, I'm feeling about a lot better. Uh, so yeah, get some Mickey D's. Let's, let's eat up. I'm hungry. We got um. Bath. A bit of chicken, a little bit of potato, it's really good, so good, it tastes so good, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> yeah, so, wasn't feeling good today. Massive headache. Probably one of the worst headaches I've ever had. Mom came pick me up. Came in clutch. Thanks, Mom. Drop a like if you love you, Mom. I know I do. I love my dad, too. I never knew this day would come. Got a little bit of ranch. We got a little barbecue. Their barbecue is, is good. This is kind of weird. It came in a McRib box. So, yeah. I think the McRib's going away. Which is, I mean, I don't really, I never had it. So, I can't really be upset about it. Probably never try it. Unless they put the actual barbecue from like this. I'll probably try it, but I don't think they do. Pretty good, you know. It's McDonald's. How oh, y'all doing today? A lot. Doing pretty good. Yeah, this headache was horrible. It like it literally started like yesterday. And it, like, got worse today, and I was like, I'm, I don't want to go through this day like this. So, went to the nurses, took an ibuprofen, and I called my mom, and she was like, you want me to take you home? And I was like, yeah, why not? Because, like... I just felt like it was going to get worse, and I needed a rest. And I was like, yeah, because I didn't want to, I was dumb. <laughs> I was dumb. And, yeah. And it wasn't like I was missing a lot, like I missed like one period. Mm. But. So yeah, but overall, pretty good day. Oh, this is what I want to talk about. M and M's. The little guy, the little character, going away. Let me pull it up. Yep. 
They're spokes candies. I don't know. I know they were called spokes candies. Uh, are going away. Like right after they came out with the a chocolate one. I mean a chocolate one, a purple one, and. So we're gonna blow my friend, my boy. Randy Gonzalez, the father from TikTok's popular Inky Boys, has died. In April 2022, Gonzalez told his 15.7 million TikTok followers about his colon cancer diagnosis. Okay, I don't know who that is, but that's really sad. Okay. Um. And. And. <clears throat> yeah, they're like, person, they're like new. Uh, like Tuck Tuck, Tucker Carlson, we call him Tuck Tuck at my house. Uh. Do a fit. was like, hey. Why take look here? No longer wearing sexy boots. Now she's wearing sensible sneakers. Leading women do not wear sexy boots. Leading women wear frumpy shoes. The frumpier, the better. That's the rule. The other big change is that the brown M&M has, quote, transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels. Also less sexy. That's progress. M&M's will not be satisfied until... I think that Tuck Tuck is just upset because he had a crush on the M&M's. Ben Shapiro's talking. So apparently Mars is now releasing a brand new bag of all female M&M's. Let me just say to all of you wokesters who are excited, why are you so stupid? I'm so stupid. <laughs> all you new wokesters, why are you so stupid? And they're clip of Forrest Gump. So stupid guys. I don't understand. Is this the thing you get excited about in the morning? <laughs> You up in the morning, you don't have any family, you wake up alone in your apartment, you're like, hey, you know what? There's a bag of all female MMs. You understand that the woke corporations are stealing the money? <laughs> so mean. All of them are so mad. They can't, they're just mad. They're so mad at everything. Everything that the, the left hand does, they don't like. I don't think I've heard one thing that Tucker Carlson or Ben Shapiro said good about the the uh democrats and you know what i don't even care to be honest i'm not a republican but i'm not a democrat i'm a 12 year old kid <laughs> i don't really care but i like the balloons they're calling m m caves to right-wing terrorists that's what the Democrats are saying, and I think that's a little extreme. Yeah, look. They changed the Eminem thing to Maya Rudolph. They completely changed the name. M and M A and Y A. Maya. I love Eminems, and you and I love me. The dad approves it. That's why I'm happy to announce that soon America's favorite chocolate candies will have a picture of yours truly painted right on them. Mmm. I love eating my own. I don't want to eat my Rudolph. Hi again, America. Since we all love M&Ms, and let's face it, me, it only makes sense that I am renaming America's favorite chocolate candies Ma and Yaws. Ma and Yaws. It's a play on my name. That just happened. Um, I don't know if that's true. I'm gonna look it up. No, it's not really. I don't think they really changed their name, but that's pretty funny. Um, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, everybody's talking about it. And I think they just, like, announced that purple one. 
like not too long ago. I'm pretty sure. They just announced the purple M&M four, three months ago. So, hmm. Yeah, I do all the right wings. Matt Walsh. Nobody's talking about it. I don't really care. I mean, yo, look. Literally, M and M's, their YouTube channel, changed their name to M A and Y A. Right, that's just a bit, but like, jeez. So I don't know. I don't know. Here's Tuck Tuck. The boots, the brown M and M, or stiletto heels. The orange M and M, meanwhile, became a poster boy for the mental health crisis and would henceforth quote acknowledge and embrace his anxiety because America badly needs more neurotic candy. Then late last year, Mars went further. The company added obese and distinctly frumpy lesbian M and M. Okay. This is <laughs> this is where he gets a little. A little different. I guess I did not know these be these M Ms are lesbians. Okay, I'm gonna sound pretty right wing here, but why does everything have to be a lesbian? I'm just saying. And then also, I don't really think that purple one's obese. Um, I think I uh, critical most critical said that uh, she was more. Thin than the other one, than the rest of them. Probably true. Okay, I'm gonna get off here because this video is way too long.